Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature. Jim, how are you reading the formation? Well, a system promoted by the rise of total football, Peter. The wider players in the front three are, are key operators in how it all works on and off the ball. They have to provide for the central striker, of course, and protect their fullbacks, so they'll get few breathers. If these two don't make a good impression, there are quite good replacements on the bench. There's the whistle. Tries to get it forward quickly. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Went in for a slide tackle and executed it cleanly. Chip through, chance to shoot, boots it to safety, going through, and his wit has a swing at it, and it's a goal! Well look, that first touch and finish is the difference between good players and great players, there aren't too many about who can give you that, I love them. Senegal break the deadlock. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Forward it goes. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. That's been one straight back. Danger averted for now. Just brushed off the ball there. And that has been clubbed away. That's a throw. His opposite number. And it's hoisted clear. Looks to play him in. It's a, a minor communications breakdown.
He spotted the run and played him through. Has he picked him out? Goes for goal! And it's come back out! It's in! Two up now, and they are cruising. He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Well, they say all goalkeepers are crazy, and after that, maybe there's some truth in it. Senegal take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Tries to dink it in. And it's half-time here. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a Another show of strength. Senegal go in at half time on a comfortable two goal cushion. <laughs> That's the start of another 45 minutes. Gets it back. Hoists it high. There's no flag, he's had a shot! That is wayward. A poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. it out, aimed long and direct, lobs it in gently, it speaks for itself doesn't it, best left there, good challenge, he just stood firm, oh, the question that's a foul, Tunisia have anticipated uh, an aerial bombardment. Just looks like mass defence. Yeah, it's a case of needs must at certain times, Peter, and, and they have to respond to what's being asked of them. Senegal claiming a corner, and the referee concurs. Knocks it away. Forward it goes. Out wide to the right. Now the counter. He's got away. Played out to the right. Hefty challenge, but... The goes for goal! They are rampant! And they are cruising away. Senegal are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven.
three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Over to the left. Well, that's where he wants it. Kings it out wide. There's the ball, looking to shoot! Just needed better contact. So the ball's got out of play, and a change is upcoming. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. And the shot! And in it goes! Results no longer in doubt. It's just about how many. He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Well, listen, last line of defence, and you don't get it right, then you're paying a visit to your net. It's become a case of men against boys. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. There's a long ball. Looking for space out wide. And that's been levered clear. Looks to... Flags up, he must have been offside. Look, I know our vantage point is, is very different, but he looked on. Tunisia, their final change. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Gets it upfield. And the weighted pass. And it's got through. He's got the ball, he's got the space. And that's it. Senegal winners of a no contest. They just swamped their opponents in superior quality. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Senegal can certainly give themselves a pat on the back for a job well done. They have a togetherness that makes them very hard to beat. So that's it for today. Thank you, Jim. And good afternoon, all.